Hello everyone, hope you're all well. I have some products that I want to try that are new and I have some old products that I want to bring back into my routine that I may have forgotten about a little bit. Um, firstly, I have received this Victoria Beckham. This is Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader. Um, and it is a cell rejuvenating priming moisturizer. Um, so it is a base, but it's also a moisturizing base. So it's got moisturizer in it as well. And it's an illuminating complex. Um, so it's going to hopefully deliver all the benefits. Now I'm a big fan of Augustinus Bader. Um, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I really like their moisturizer. I have a mini pot here. I'm dropping everything today. I have a mini pot here, um, which I take with me, but I also have a big pot of it too, because I really, really like it. However, I don't use it all the time. I use it when my skin is a little bit thirsty. So let's give this a go. Let me get a brush. I think I will use a setting brush. I don't really need to use a brush for it, but I'm going to anyway. I really do like their products. And I think that's probably quite a good pair. So I'm hoping this is going to do the job of both a moisturiser and a primer because I'm all about cutting corners if I can get the benefits from one product. However, the Augustinus cream on its own is quite expensive so this was sent to me. Um, so I hate to think how much this will be. I'm not obliged to give a good review or anything. This is just, and I can't really give a review on it right now um, until I've worn it a little bit, if you know what I mean. Because you have to let these things work in, see how they feel. It's nice. It's tacky, but not overly. It's the sort of product I like working with, if you know what I mean. I like it to be a little bit glowy, but not too creamy that my foundation, when I put over it, moves completely, but it's still got enough. But I think this is gonna set into my skin quite quickly but it does have a lovely glow to it. I like it. I can tell that already. Will it stay tacky on the skin? We will see, we will see. Okay, I have got the new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I We have just had a Space NK open in Norwich. So obviously I went in there and got loads of stuff. Even though I go to London all the time and shop in Space NK, it just felt like such a honour that it was in Norwich so I felt like oh I am dropping everything can you tell what that means um so yeah I felt like I had to go and get loads of stuff you know so this is I dropped it again this is the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer cream tinty but said with an accent creme tinte <laughs> sometimes I just embarrass myself um, and it is uh, SPF 30, UVB, UVA, PA++++. So, where's this? let's use the same brush. I only want a little bit of coverage because I, I actually got another foundation that I want to use too. So I just want this just to even out the skin tones where I need it. The colour that I went for was natural. Now I do love a... Um, Tinted moisturiser, really do. It's more of a summer thing, but um, I think as we get a little bit more mature, it's always good to keep the skin looking glowing and healthy. My next video, I might wear really strong coverage as a base, ready for New Year. Something that's got to stay plastered on my skin for 12 hours or so, whilst I party the night away. Just gonna get my hair out of my face, it's annoying me. I like to be able to see my jaw when I do makeup and when my hair is even a little bit down here, I feel like it's restricting me, so that's why I always just pin my hair back when I'm doing makeup. But then I can at least see that the colors are matching and all that sort of stuff. Another thing I was just thinking while I was doing that, I don't like to wear, I like to either powder my makeup in the winter and um, seal it into place, purely because I wear quite a high neck coat or jumper and I hate if it's tacky how it rubs onto my coat my makeup um does anyone else do that you know what I mean like when you you put your coat on you're like don't let it touch my neck don't let it touch my makeup because it will go on my coat and then I have to clean my coat and all the other stuff I also picked up this um by Terry nude expert stick 
I have got this one, I do love it. I actually went for a slightly darker colour. This is um, number five, peach beige. Uh, might be a bit dark for me right now, but um, I got it because I'm going on holiday soon and I wanted to have a little bit of one for holiday. I love this foundation because it has your highlighter on one side and your foundation on the other side. Mix them together and you get a highlighting foundation and it's very, very beautiful. Um, actually, it might be quite good for this, for me right now. So I'm going to pop that. And yes, I have got two products on my skin, a tinted moisturiser and a foundation, but I'm keeping the foundation to the central panels because I don't need it around the outside. I don't really have anything that I need to cover there. I get a little bit of redness here. I get dark under eyes, but nothing else that is a massive problem. So I'm keeping that to the central panel and then I'm going to buff that in. And by doing this, when people are close to me, they can be like, oh, she hasn't got much makeup on, because here, it doesn't look like I've got much, and this should seamlessly blend out. So it just disappears and blends in with the rest, but I have that extra bit of coverage just in the central panel. I feel like I'm very much over-explaining. Oh, by the way, my earrings are from Missima. These ones are Maria Tash. Loads of people ask me, that's why I'm saying it now, I'm thinking about it. These are Maria Tash, all these little tiny hoops. They're really expensive, but I do wear them every single day. Um, this one is by Lauren Stewart, um, Netta Porter. I bought that. None of this was gifted. Actually, these front earrings are by Missima, and that was gifted, but from a friend, not a brand. And then my t-shirt, which say loud and proud. I have quite a few of these t-shirts and jumpers and people often ask where they're from. It is from Yeah Right New York and that is what the symbol looks like. Lots of people ask, I do love a baggy-esque t-shirt. Right, what else did I get? So that can go in the bin now, that's used. I tend to keep things in boxes, I don't know why I have such an issue, but I'm going to recycle those ones. Then I also got, what was this? Oh, that's a lip care treatment, a by Terry lip care treatment. I like the colour. I'm going to put some of that on now and I might put some more at the end. Um, Rosie, I just dropped something else. It is that time. Rosie Babe, let's put some on now. And I might put it over her lipstick at the end. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Guess what it smells like? Roses. I hate that noise that your mouth makes. That is so gross, isn't it? It's my little mouth, face moving. My lips are so dry at the moment. It's that, it's that time of year. Right, what else did I buy? What concealers did I get? I got this lovely um, Secret Conceal by Laura Mercier as well. And I also picked up, which I'd forgotten about because I haven't used for ages, a Kevin Aquan, um, what is it called? It is called Supernatural um, Corrector. I really like that. Um, the reason I've forgotten about a lot of concealers is because I've been really into my Bare Minerals concealers again, which are this one and this one. I really like the Armani Powder Fabric Concealer. I, um, they're my, and I really like this one obviously because it's so easy to get, which is the MAC um, Conceal and Correct Palette. I just love them. But um, I was in there and I was like, do you know what? It's my job to test stuff and I've forgotten about how that one works, although that colour's probably a bit light for me for now. I might put it under my eyes. Let's put it under my eyes first. And that can lift the under eyes ready for... for eyeshadow. Oh, another concealer that's absolutely beautiful is the Clay de Peau. It's got a hefty price tag though. Okay, let's blend that. I feel like I'm a bit erratic in this video, I'm sorry guys. But maybe you like the more chatty ones, I don't know. I don't know what people like anymore. I don't know. I think that's the thing, you have to do it for yourself and not for other people. And then, it doesn't matter, does it? So I'm just taking my expert concealer brush, just to give that a good little blend in and actually it was really really light but it seems to have blended in quite well. I'm going to take a little bit of my, um, actually I'm going to come back and use that one in a minute. Once I've done eyeshadow I will come back to that one. What else did I pick up? Oh yeah, I picked up a couple of these by Terry 
um, Ombre Black Star. I already have a few of these, but they are literally, I think, the best um, stick shadows. I think they are so beautiful and creamy and they blend with the most seamless line. So I'm just going to take my finger to take away any of that concealer that might still be there. The natural oils from my finger will just blend that through. And then I'm going to use this one, which is called Misty... What is it called? Misty Rocks. Misty Rock. I like that name. It's kind of like a... Well, you'll see now. It's kind of like a rosy tone. I'm just going to buff that over the eye. And I'm going to take that above my eye crease. Then I'm going to take a Real Techniques base shadow brush and just buff that away. This is why I love them. Look how easy and effortless it is to blend. I also love the Tom Ford ones. They're so beautiful. They're really nice texture, but these are just easier because they come in a stick. I was going to use this one today, but that'll be another day because I want to use this stuff. That's a nice colour. Just gives the eyelid something, but not much like it. It's not as, oh, I should have seen from the colour that it's not as peachy as I was kind of thinking of going, but it's very beautiful. Right, what else did I pick up? I picked up this Shantakai waterproof brow definer in light talk. Let's give it a go. It has a spoolie on one end, and then the kind of triangle end on that end. So let's have a little look. Now I don't know if there's a right way you're meant to use this, but I always tend to use it with the smaller end going that way for some reason, which seems a bit backwards, but that's the way I always use it. And then I'll turn it around when I need to get a sharper edge to it. It's a very lovely soft colour. You know, there's no warmth in there at all, which is I quite like because I hate my brows to look even a little bit orangey. I take my spoolie on the other end and just brush it through. I would say this is a sort of brow for when you're in a bit more of a rush and you haven't got time to do, you know, how I like to use my MAC stud shape and shade and draw the individual lines. That takes a little bit more time, so this is probably something that's a bit quicker. I also picked up another um, Surratt brow pomade, which I love and stole the idea from my sister. I was convinced that I didn't like it and then I watched her doing it a couple of times on the train and I was like... I think I really like that now. And I do really like it. I really love Surratt products. That's why I was very excited that Space NK has come to Norwich and that more people in Norfolk can find out about these lovely kind of brands. Because Norwich doesn't normally get much, which is one thing that I love about Norwich, is that it's kind of like off the beaten track a bit. No one comes here unless they're meaning to go to Norwich or to the coast, um, which I do love, but also we don't get much stuff. Even though I said that eye pencil was for quick um, eyebrows, I'm still taking my MAC Shape and Shade and just drawing in really fine little brow hairs um, because I can't not, I just need, I can't stop myself. So I'm just drawing in the most subtle. This is my favourite pen. I have two in this colour. This one is stud. One of them has one hair that is slightly longer. It's this one. And that hair creates the finest lines. Can you see? All of this front panel and all of under here, if you can see, I'm going to zoom in for you, is all fake. And that's why I love this one pen. I have another one that's a little bit thicker and it makes them slightly bulkier. But this one... It's just the best, apart from with the other hand. When you're doing the other side, it's a bit more tricky, isn't it? Because you have to position your hands slightly different. If they come a bit strong, I just give them a little push over so that they kind of diffuse a bit. I also picked up this Surratt um, Flesh Tone Liner. This is in a 
light button in effervescence. Um, did I say that right? Effervescence, yeah. Um, I really like Surat products, so I thought I would give it a go. And they're normally really, really creamy, so I'm hoping if I put that there, I can buff it in really gently. And I'm going to take a detailer brush and just soften that. Now I could do a whole lot more with the eyes and I probably would go really dark in the corner and make it a really smoky eye. However, I'm going to watch my son play rugby in about an hour. So by the time I finish this, it will give me half an hour. So I will have to go in this makeup and I don't want to be wearing tons of smoky eyes on a Friday afternoon to watch my son play rugby. So I'm going to stop, I'm not going to stop with the eyes, I'm just going to not make them as smoky as I would have. Not that I really care that much, but I'm taking Rock and Roll um, in a Verushka Mink from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to take that Rock and Coal, was it? Rock and Coal, not Rock and Roll, sorry. I'm going to take that in the top waterline. So it really, really accentuates the lashes without um, looking like I've got loads of liner on. And then I'm going to go back in with my Mink Pink. Mink Rock. Misty Rock, I got it completely wrong. I'm gonna go back in with my Misty Rock and take that under the eye. It's because it looks like a mink pink color, but it's not, it's Misty Rock. And take that under the eye and just smudge that along. Although I said about taking my, going to watch my son play rugby. I went to pick Harry and Edie up from school the other day and I had loads of makeup on, loads more. And one of the mums messaged me afterwards and said, I just have to tell you, I thought you looked lovely today for the school run. And I was like, an absolutely lovely thing to say. Um, like, to actually take your time to send me a message to say, you, I saw you, you walked past me and I thought you looked so lovely. Um, and I thought that was really, really nice. I think we should share compliments when we think them far more. Because it makes people feel good. So that's the misty rock just under the eye. I'm actually going to take this. Charlotte Tilbury one out here as well. You know how I like to wing out the corner of the eye a little bit. I can't help myself, I just need it in my life. That Charlotte Tilbury pencil is really good because it sets really well but you have a tiny bit of playtime. You don't have loads, but you have a little bit of playtime to move it a bit. I promise I will do a look that takes a lot more time and is a lot more um, effort. But then I always think, who's got the time and effort to do that? Like literally, I still managed to make it a little bit smoky, didn't I? I just can't stop myself. I'm going to take this Laura Mercier um, Correct Secret Concealer. I'm going to take that on my finger and just push it under the eyes a bit. It's got a really nice kind of payoff to it. It will crease. It's not one of those ones that will stay, that will dry. I actually really like that. I don't mind if it creases. Um, that part of my eye doesn't really move too much anyway. I just keep it away from this outer corner where you get the creasing. But I like that it has this lovely glow to it. The only thing you would need to be aware with it is that because it has that glow to it, it will break down your mascara. So you'd need to use a waterproof mascara or a tubing mascara with this. I think anyway. Another thing I picked up was this Kevin Aquan. This is the Contour Book Volume 2, The Art of Sculpting and Defining. And in there you have your um, creams, highlighter, cream, contour, powder, powder, same contour highlighter. You have got your brightening, your starlight, a cool tan and a ruby Ruddy Earth, sorry, not rud Ruby, Ruddy Earth. They are, it's such a beautiful palette and probably all you'd need. Um, these would be amazing on your eyes, these are amazing on the cheeks and these can be for eyes as well. Or tops of the cheeks, totally up to you. I quite like sunlight on the top of the cheeks as well. Um, I'm gonna opt for my Chanel Bronze Universal. <laughs> oh, I'll come back to that in a second, but I need to put some Chanel on first because I like to put the colour in on my favourite little brush to apply it which is the mini sculpting brush. I, I just love this product so it gives a really healthy glow. I can sculpt on top of it if I wish to but um, I'm all about the glow. 
um, all of that lip glow. I'm just going to move back to the eyes because I've realised that I didn't put my um, effervescence in my waterline. But I wasn't sure I was going to put it in there. Just decided that I will. And then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Volume Caviar Mascara. Again, this isn't the right one to use with my concealer because it probably will break it down. But I like to live life on the edge. Sam and I actually just did a really nice podcast with Sally Hughes, who I absolutely adore. So you could track that down if you want to listen. I'm just going to take my extended play by MAC on the bottom lashes because it doesn't break down and move as much. I also bought this from Kevin Aquan. I've already had one of them and I got another one. This is medium and it is um, flesh tone lip pencil. And it's very beautiful. And I just use that around the outside and then buff it in. Because basically quite a lot of us have a naturally quite pale lip line that you can't see. You think your lips are tiny, but they're actually fuller than you think. It's just they're very, very pale the outside of it. So I just take that and show the actual lip line. I'm just going to take a lip smudge brush. And just soften it and then I'm nearly ready to go and watch Harry play rugby this isn't the sort of makeup I'd normally wear for rugby I don't wear any but um, I have been warned that I'm not allowed to shout but I just can't help myself I just can't help it my mum I couldn't go the other week so my mum went to watch and she said oh my god he is just adorable she said what child during the middle of his ma rugby match he's Eight, just turned eight, during the middle of his rugby match, he saw my mum and he went, and just carried on running. <laughs> my mum was like, oh my God, whatever little child does that, it's like, blew a kiss to his nan and then carried on. So cute. I also got this lipstick, which is Kevin Aquan again, and it is Siren Dan, I don't know, it's a peachy nude. And it's very pretty. That would have been the perfect Audrey Hepburn lip, wouldn't it? From my last video. A bit more of that lip noise for everyone, which I hate. I don't think I need any more makeup. However, I do have this Chantecaille um, powder, which was sent in my PO box. And I really think it's gonna be nice. I haven't tried it yet, but that might help me, my makeup not rub on my coat. So I'm gonna take that. It looks like it has a nice shimmer to it, you see? I'm just going to rub it here. I haven't got much makeup there, so it won't sit and look heavy, but it will stop my coat from rubbing. And it will just take away that shine just there, where I don't necessarily want the shine. It's very lightweight. So just use that anywhere that needs a little bit of powdering down. And there you have a look of me just playing with some products I wanted to try and test. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing that new, um, but then... Is there anything that's groundbreaking and new? Let me know if you think there is something. Uh, next one, I'm probably gonna put more makeup on and make it more, I want to use this Kevin Aquan palette, so I'm gonna make it more 90s, which is my favorite anyway. Um, I'll see you soon.